Hey everyone, it's Billy Bross from the Homebrew Academy, and I know a bunch of you out there are building Brutus 10 brew systems. I'm a proud owner of one myself. It was a great experience building it, and it works awesome. I love it. So I have a whole series of posts on the Homebrew Academy blog, walking you through every step in the process of building the Brutus 10. But I decided to do a, a few videos to go along with those posts. So check those out and watch these as well. In this video, I'm gonna address, which is probably the hardest part of the build, and that's the control panel, and specifically wiring in the control panel. So I'm gonna show you in plain English how the control panel is wired, and I emphasize plain English. You know, I'm not an electronics expert. I'm a home brewer, that's my hobby, not electronics. But I managed to figure it out, it's really not that hard. So there's not gonna be any electrical diagrams here. I'm gonna show you a video of how exactly this thing is set up, and then you can do it yourself. So here we go. Okay, to make this as simple as possible, I'm gonna follow the flow of electricity through the control panel. So this is the master plug. This plugs into the wall outlet. It brings power in through this cord into the bottom of the control panel here. And it has three wires, black, white, and green. Black is hot, that brings power in. White is neutral, that returns electricity. And then green is the ground. So the first place uh, the power goes is through this switch right here at the top. So this is the master switch for the entire control panel. If it's off, you can't get power to any of the components downstream of it. So power goes into this switch. This is the back of the switch. It comes out and it goes into this barrier strip. That's uh, these screws behind here. I'll show you a better view of this one over here. So this is one of the barrier strips. It's, it's similar to a hub and spoke model. It brings electricity in and it acts as a hub and then it distributes, it distributes it out to all the different spokes and that's all the different wires coming out of it. And these are just screw terminals, that's how you connect the wires. So with this uh, barrier strip over here, we're sending power to four places. We have the two love controllers, one there for the mash tun, one there for the hot liquor tank, and the two pumps. And down here is pump one, over here is pump two. Now you might be thinking, well, we actually have six components that need power. There's also the two Honeywell valves, the solenoid valves. And that's true, but those are downstream of the love controllers. And I'll get to that in a sec. So let's start uh, with the power going to the love controllers. So let me show you a good example here where you can actually see the wire. So this is, let me make sure I have the right one here. That's not it, here it is. So this is, power coming out of this barrier strip. And see this wire right here? This goes into a switch, that switch right in there. And that's the switch for this love controller. So if you wanna turn on that love controller, first you have to t turn on the switch up here, the master switch, and then you flip this switch. Okay, and then power comes out of that switch via this wire right here. And then you can see that it's going in to the love, this wire right here. So it goes in there and then it comes back out, and it comes out right here. See that? So it goes in, it comes out through here, and goes into a, another switch right there. That's the switch for the uh, Honeywell valves. So to turn those on, you have to flip the master switch and this switch. And if you want to control them, of course, with the loves, you have to flip on the love switch, this one. So power goes into this switch. You can flip that on to power the, uh, the Honeywell valves. And you can see this wire pretty clearly. This is the wire coming out. So this is going to one of the Honeywell valves, which is, and the valve is on uh, the stand, the brew stand. So let's follow this wire. So this is power coming from the love controller. We have a connection right here. And then it goes into this transformer over here, right? So what the transformer does, since uh, the Honeywell valves don't accept 120 volts, they're 24 VAC, we have to step down the voltage. So that's what these transformers do. So one transformer for each Honeywell valve, one here and one here. So the power goes in through the bottom, it's hard to see, and then it comes out right here through the top. Goes into this cord, and we just grab the end of the cord here where the plugs are. Sorry, they're way down on the ground. Okay, and here they are. So I have a, a couple outlets 
on the uh, the brew stand that I'll show you later, and these plug into that. So they're not hooked in uh, at all times. It's only on brew day when I do this. Normally I keep my control panel here down in my basement, and then on brew day I set it up and I plug these into the stand. So these plug into those outlets on the stand and they send power to those Honeywell valves. So we got those valves covered and uh, the love controller is covered. One more thing about the loves though, they also have, you might've seen this thick cord coming out here. This goes to the sensors, the uh, thermocouples. Let me just see if I can grab those. Uh, they're kind of stuck down there, but you can see them right here. They're really simple. They come out of the top of the control panel and these are my temperature sensors. That's what those are. So one of those goes into the top of the hot liquor tank, and then the other one goes into a uh, thermo well that I use on the mash tun, where I recirculate the mash. Okay, so we got the loves covered, we got the honey wells covered. Only thing left is the pumps. So like I said, we have you know, four main wires coming out of this barrier strip right here, and the other two go to the pumps. So the switches for the pumps are down here. Let's see, yeah, we can see that one pretty well. So this is the cord coming from that strip. This one right here goes into the switch and this is coming out and that goes to the pump. And this eventually feeds into this gray cord right here. And that comes out through the bottom. I have two coming out through the bottom. And also I didn't show you uh, this cord over here. This is the one coming out through the bottom that goes to the valves. So this goes to the valves. This is the main power coming in. And these are uh, the cords with the power to the pump coming out. And I'll show you the end of these. Hang on one sec. Okay, so here are the plugs for the pumps, one for the mash tun, one for the hot liquor tank. And similar to how I have outlets hooked up to the stand for the Honeywell valves, I also have outlets for the pumps that I plug these into. And I'll show you those in a sec. Okay, now all that's left, I've talked about everything except uh, these two barrier strips right here. So I have the one over here on the right, that's for the hot wires. And these two are for the neutral and ground wires. So this one is neutral, this one is ground. I know I have black wires on here, so it's kind of confusing, but it really should be white wires. And you can see the master white wire coming out. And then that goes back into the main power cord here, right here. And then I have one right here for another strip for the ground wires and you can see the green wires coming out and then again there's the master green one and that goes back into the main power cord okay so that's it for the inside of the control panel now I'll go outside and show you the brew stand real quick okay so I'm outside with the brew system here these are the outlets I was talking about so the plugs for the Honeywell valves they plug into this outlet right here and then the three prong plugs for the pumps plug in right here and I was gonna attach these more permanently. I just have these zip ties on here right now, but these actually work really well. They've held on for well over a year. So I'm just gonna leave them like this. Um, so if I kind of spin this around and show you the wires coming out of this outlet for the Honeywell valves, you can see two of them right here. So you can see these two wires go into the valves on top there. Got a hot and a neutral. And then uh, the other set of wires goes over to that valve right there. And then for the pumps, actually that was a good view. You can see the two wires coming out right there, the two cords. And then the pumps of course had uh, plugs of their own on the ends. So I just cut those off. They were you know, right around here. I cut those off and then I wired the pumps to the outlet right here. And then uh, those wires go to the pumps. You can see them over there. So that's it. All right guys, hope that helped.